We were just finished working on our kitchen and we are going to look at a van in Schoharie County, which is about 40 minutes from us. And on the way there, we happened past the Carrot Barn. We're gonna stop at this place. I wanted to stop here for a long time. Schoharie Valley Farms, also known as the Carrot Barn. And they say you're supposed to be able to get really cheap carrots here. So we're gonna we'll find, find out. out. And you guys are coming along with us. How exciting! I wasn't expecting to stop here. Now it's pouring rain and we grabbed Mary out of the van, but whoops, we forgot her shoe. So <laughs> daddy's daddy's the dutiful of daddy, he's getting her shoe. <laughs> there, there, there we go. go. Oh. Can we get some stuff here? Of course, why not? We're here. Let's get some Can stuff. Can we get some parsnips? Sure. And parsnips. parsnips or turnips? Oh, yeah. What are those? These are parsnips. Are those parsnips there too? Okay, they have parsnips, one pound bags, and five pound bags. I have a feeling we're going to fill the cart up. How much are they? Um, Let's see, where are the? Uh, eight. It's eight. eight. Or one eight. for two fifty. Ginger. Uh, let's see. Let's be brave. Let's get a five pounder. I love. Them. Let's do it. Let's see. Price is right. And they have rutabagas. Now this lettuce looks so much nicer than what I buy at Price Shopper. Yeah. It's the same price. Really? Dollar ninety nine. At Price Shopper, this is two dollars. You wanna grab one? Yeah, we'll grab one. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. That is. Wow. Those are quite some squash there. And a pumpkin. And a pumpkin. What do they have, Lydia? Peanuts. Yeah. Do you like peanuts? They've got kiwi. They have kiwis. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We have celery root here. We made some celery root stew once. We have local dairy here too. What, $18 for a 25 pound bag of beets? Wow. Look at the carrots. Look how much that carrots were. I wish we lived here. $14 a bushel carrots. That's what we want. Janelle's calling up Grandma to see if she wants anything too. There's our stuff. Looks like a lot of carrots. Yes. Then we got we some. Are eating a lot of good. And we got some beets. I'm excited. Not my favorite thing. Oh, they will be. Uh, no, they won't. <laughs> they Never will. will. By the time you're done. Janelle just uh, thought better of the situation. We decided to buy another 25-pound bag of carrots. The price is so good. And we're here. Really, a neat place. And I didn't even know we were gonna go past it. And then we were starting to go by it, and I'm like, that's it! That's the carrot barn! <laughs> that's where I want to go! It was this quaint little store. It was it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. It felt like you went into a time warp. I really can't believe I just bought 25 pounds of beets. We're going to have to learn to like beets. I want to roast some. That book that I'm reading, An Everlasting Meal, that is just a great book. You should read that art. Okay. It talks all about just... Cooking. Cooking and bringing out the love of basic foods. Well, maybe I, I should really, do that. I really, like that bar. Anyways, it talks about roasting vegetables and how, you know, you roast them one day and then you turn them into something else the second day and the third day and just... So, that's part of the reason why I was inspired to buy these. <laughs> and I love beets. I really like how they taste and these too. So, I'm really, really... Five excited. pounds of parsnips. The beets? You should try making beet fries. <laughs> parsnips next to a router. 
<laughs> That's pretty good. I just happened to be driving past and I was like, please, please, can we please stop? I have to stop. And of course, I wanted to stop too. Yes, I was, exciting I was stop. just as excited about it as Janelle was. Any place you can save money and get fresh produce is definitely a place for us. It looked like I went in, we went into a time warp and just the music, the ambiance made you want to stay. They yeah. had a little like bakery um, eating center of their local produce so you could actually order something from the menu. But their prices weren't bad, but the place where you could get the best deals were actually tucked in the back. And it didn't say you couldn't go back there, but it didn't say you could. It was really rather unclear whether you should go back there. Yeah. And um, yeah, we poked our heads in and he saw someone there and he said, are you supposed to go back here? And she's like, yeah, said, come yeah. on back. But it was really, really kind of strange. But in the video, you probably saw the big blackboard that had the list of the bulk prices and that was in that back room. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't know if you were supposed to look around and help yourself to the bags, if you were supposed to, I didn't know what you're supposed to do. So, you know, I looked at that blackboard and and figured out what we decided we wanted and we went up to the front counter and asked them and it was really good prices yes. where else can you get 25 pounds of carrots for seven dollars now on the on that list it said they were feed carrots and I asked the lady I said we can eat those, right? And she goes, oh, absolutely. She goes, they're just not perfectly long carrots. They might have broken or had a spot here or there, but she goes, they're perfectly fine for eating. So we got the first 25 pound bag, got it out to the van, and then I went, you know what, carrots last so long. We should go back and get another bag. And when Art went back in. So I, yeah, I ran in and of course I'm game for this too. Right. They, so they were sold out. So we, we, we bought their last bag. We bought one. their last bag. The other thing we got was a 25 pound bag of beets. And how much were they? $18. $18. And that was a little bit more of a stretch because I love beets. Lydia likes beets. But everyone else is sort of in the various stages mm. of learning to like beets. But. You know, the price, they, first of all, they hold up so long in the refrigerator and the price was so fabulous that, right. you know, I was we just, had to grab one. and I was dying for something fresh because, you know, the produce at our grocery store is just not, it's not the same as like a local, locally owned place. Check out for these type of stores in your area. I don't know. I guess the best way would be ask your friends or ask um, maybe on a Facebook group if they know of any place that you can buy bulk locally um, grown produce and then see if you can find some deals like this because it really does help out with the budget and being able to buy fresh produce because that a big chunk of our budget every month goes to fresh fresh fruits and vegetables. Right. And this place, it was not clear that there are going to be good deals there. You walk in the door and it looked like uh, you'd think a high-priced uh, specialty shop. Yeah, like almost like an organic farm store. Right. But it, they weren't high-priced. Some of the stuff might have been more than we wanted to pay, but still it was okay. The stuff that was a really good deal, we had to ask about. Right. So don't be afraid to ask when you walk in the door. The price for lettuce was comparable to my grocery store, but the difference is... This was fresh lettuce. Nothing wrong with California, but California is a long way from New York. Right. And it's nice to get New York lettuce instead of California lettuce. And I guess if you live in California, you'd probably want California lettuce. That's right. So, so just, you know, check out for, uh, check your local phone book, ask your friends, see if you guys can find a local farm store like that where mm -hmm. you can buy things in bulk, or maybe you can get even to know a local farmer who might be willing to help you get better prices because it's definitely worth the effort and it helps out the budget. I will post any of the links in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel where we have our daily vlog and we also love to pass on financial tips on how you can save money. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you for our next video.